Hello and welcome everyone to practice playbook session. As part of this discussion, I will be focusing on helping us understand what is this practice playbook all about. As we go ahead, we will understand the significance of practice playbook for a given organization. So first thing to understand, what is this practice playbook all about? A practice playbook is a strategic tool used by various organizations to ensure consistency, efficiency, quality as part of their technology adoption. Now, what does this practice playbook provides in details? It provides details in detailed instructions and best practices for technology adoption. It contains documented collection of strategies, methods, step-by-step -step processes that guides how to handle specific tasks within an organization. When we are setting up an hierarchy, we need to understand what is the requirement right now and what kind of people that we need to onboard. If you are looking at skilling initiatives, we need to understand what kind of skills have to be imparted to various individuals. And this will start across the organization, across multiple departments as well. Some of them may be playing a role of implementation engineers, management folks, people who are working in terms of pre-sales activities and also people getting into architecting roles over here. So all these members will help us define a practice and help us take these services to the end users and other customers as well. Understanding these playbook resources would be a game changer for any and every organization today. Especially new areas like generative AI, artificial intelligence, business analytics, there, are, there is a lot of demand in the market today. In today's context, building a practice playbook will be very very essential for practices like generative AI, data analytics, business analytics, AI implementation, co-pilot resources. These are going to play a very very vital role in today's current scenario and also for upcoming future. As part of this playbook development, we need to define the members and their roles that we have required. Identify capabilities that they currently have and the skill gaps which is required for them to fill in before they can take up relevant roles within the organization. When we are, whenever we are looking at hiring, training and certification of these people, we need to be well aligned with the practice development. And for any updates in terms of emerging technologies, please subscribe us to our YouTube channel.